as a medical doctor, I was qualified from a university called Al Azhar, University Medical School. And for your information, I did not stop at the degree or the bachelor degree. I had to travel to UK to get my doctor of medicine, which is PhD. And I got it after I failed. Because I always fail. I always I always say fail. Stand up. I always why you are not I always fail. 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 I always fail. But I got the degree later on. And in my degree, the gratitude which I made was three pages. It was from the Quran and it was for Allah about the creation of man. The first three pages in my thesis were about Quran. And this is where you can find your identity. No matter who you are, you have to identify yourself to the community. And we have to be very proud of our religion, our prophet, our history, our culture, our language, our color, our family, our parents, our neighborhood. And this is the identity. So I didn't drop the Quran at the beginning of my thesis, but I left three pages to Allah who said so and so and so and so. Number two in my thesis, which is my PhD, I discovered that the one who was describing the disease which I was explaining or studying, spina bifida, which you have a sack, the baby will have a sack at the back, split in the spine, and water in the brain, was somebody called Bukasas. Bukasas was from Andalusia, from a town ship called Az Zahra. Az Zahra is near Kurtuba, and you are in Kurtuba, an institute. Bukasas' name, the Arabic name, was Abu Al Qasim Az Zahrawi. Abu Al Qasim Az Zahrawi, the one who described spina bifida six centuries before Europe. You have to be proud of the knowledge of Abu Qasim al-Zahrawi, which was ahead of Europe, six centuries. You have to be proud of your institution, Qurtuba, or Granada, or Tlaitela, which were coming from the civilization of Muslims in Andalusia. And one day, you have to go to Andalusia and to see how much the Muslims contributed to humanity, to humanity up till now. And they took Europe from the edge of darkness to the renaissance of Europe nowadays. This is your history. So first your identity, second your history. Third, our deen. Our deen is the oneness. Believing in the one who created the sprawling world, the universe, planets, stars, moons, creation of God, animals, birds, plants, fish, everything. And he has the ability, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to count them by the second and keep them in a book by the second. The dead, you reborn, and the living in his books. No computer ever on earth can accumulate or accommodate all this knowledge when he knows what's happening in the far west, the far east, the far south, the far north, and your whisper, and your intention, and what you're planning to do. Today has been written for me before I was born. In my life, before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in my book before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he put for me 
that I'll be in South Africa, in Johannesburg, in Kurtuba School, with you today, talking to you for 15 minutes. But I have to deliver the best for you. And they have to teach you the new language. Come. Hmm. What's my new language will be? Is it English? No. Is Arabic? No. Is Urdu? No. What is it? I don't know. The animal language. I developed the animal language because wherever I go to an area where I cannot communicate with the children, I do that. Can anybody do better than him? <laughs> is this this uh, chicken has some sore throat? Get me another chicken, you. <laughs> I was one one day in KPK in Pakistan, tribal area. People are very hardliners, men and children. Don't speak Urdu, don't speak Pashto, and don't speak nothing. And they said, Mah. Oh, well. <laughs> Can we greet him? <laughs> and I started to develop this with the children from South Sudan because they couldn't be able to speak their own language, tribal language, and the children of KPK in Pakistan. And the children started to laugh. The parents started to be very happy. So they accepted Islamic relief to, as, to welcome them. See, because Islamic relief can, can make the children happy, can draw the smiles on the faces of community, can bring happiness to the community, and can build future generation. Thank you, Mr. Duck. Can you do the duck one? <laughs> what do you want to be? What do you want to be? What do you want to be, you? Come here. Don't be shy. Don't be like a chicken. Stand up. Roar like a lion, huh? Are you, are, are you Simba? You know Simba? Lion King? What do you want to be? I don't know. <laughs> All right, anybody else know what he wants to be? Come, stay. No, no, I didn't answer. To. Come here. Can you? <laughs> Come this way, this way. What do you want to be? Lion. You want to be a lion? Yeah. <laughs> Where's your tail? <laughs> Come here. Now, in life, what do you want to be? A good person. A good person is good, but not good enough. To do what? <laughs> Become a Hafiz. Hafiz. You have to have an aim for your life. To work for it. You become a Hafiz, not only a Hafiz. Hafiz is the first step of becoming an alim. Most of the great scholars of Islam came from non-Arabic speaking community. Bukhari, Ibn Majah, even when Abu Hanifa was originally Persian. All those have got great mothers taught them how to master the Arabic language. The language of Hadith, the language of Quran, the language of history, the language of civilization, the language of Renaissance. When you look at the English language, proverbs and derivatives, it has 600,000 proverbs and derivatives. When you discuss the Arabic language, the language which has been chosen for the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it has 12.2 million derivatives and proverbs. So you have to be proud with the language who teaches more. The language who guides us. The language who increases the capacity of our brain with the metaphor of the Arabic language. If you want to become a Hafiz, I will not accept you. I want you to become a Alim. 
Alim. An alim means you know the knowledge of the Quran, not just to recite the Quran and become kari. Kari is the first step, half is the second step, alim is the top. Because alim can guide, can teach, can save, can help, can support. You got it? You have to know the knowledge, not only of the deen, the knowledge of life around you. That's why most of the scholars of Islam knew the life and they interact with the people to reflect their knowledge in the solution they can bring to the community. You want to be alim. You got it? Okay? And you now, did you find yourself? Doctor, oh, what kind of doctor? Doctor Animals, well, okay. Mr. Doolittle <laughs> or Miss Doolittle. You remember the movie? Never watched it. Never watched it. He was animal doctors and he spoke 200 languages in the movie, of course. Not, not in reality. To do what? To treat whom? Animals. To treat animals. Very good, very good. Mr. Doolittle, thank you. <laughs> Anybody else can tell me what does he want to be? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, because you are playing with your nose. Come. <laughs> I like your nose, by the way. <laughs> but don't let it run very fast, huh? Because I can't follow it. What do you want to be? A zoologist. Eh? Zoologist. And Hafiz. And Hafiz. What do you mean by zoologist and Hafiz? I've used the Quran and so I just is, I forgot. He wants to become, I forgot, profession. <laughs> Your profession, what, who can tell us what the origin means? Animal, animal. animal, yes. Animals, look after the animals. Like so you work with Mr. Doolittle. <laughs> to have an animal clinic. Very good, very good. Anybody else? Yes, come on. You have to stand to what you say because Allah is listening and the angels are recording. Not your video, but Allah's video with the angels. What do you want to be? Scientist. Come on. To do what in science? Hold it. Uh, <coughs> huh? New inventions. New inventions. Like what? Like what? Uh, ah, get it out. I know that you have it. Um, mm. To discover... New, to discover new animals or to stop pollution? To stop pollution. Very good. Very good. He's talking about the weather. Now it's very cold today. Somebody told me that you came here and brought the British weather with you. Me. Because British weather is gloomy, mystic, rainy, dull, cloudy. Okay. He wants to be a scientist. Okay. He wants to be a zoologist. He wants to be Mr. Doolittle or Dr. Doolittle. He wants to be a alim. Anybody else? Okay. Come on. And anyone from the back can come forward. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. And you can stop me when the 15 minutes is gone. <coughs> okay, okay. Go and tell them. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yeah. I want to be an architect. Yeah? An architect. Architect. Bismillah, mashallah. Who else? <laughs> Lawyer. Bismillah, mashallah. I want to be pilot. Pilot, Bismillah, Mashallah. <laughs> I want to be a soccer player. What? A soccer player. Mohammed Salah? <laughs> or Messi? Messi. Ronaldo? Messi. Messi. Make a lot of Messi. I want to be a cricket player. Cricket player. Amran Khan? Very good. Zindabad? I want to be a surgeon. Oh, very good. I was a pathologist. I want to be a, I want to be a professional football player or a pilot. No, you have to have one. 
pilot or professional for player to make a lot of millions okay but I want you to become a pilot I want to be better in what you think you can do. That's me? Oh, yeah. that, that's very good. But actually, I'm not educated enough. You have to rise, to rise, to rise, to rise. Because there's no end for the knowledge. We can make a love class. Go on. Make a joke. Uh, I don't know. You have to be a cracker. Okay. Why does he want to be a pilot? Why do you want to be a pilot? To lay eggs. Because you want to get high. <laughs> 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 and what happened when I get low? Uh, to be a diver. <laughs> okay. How about you? I want to be a doctor. Doctor of what? Come on, come on. Doctor of what? All right, a doctor, a pilot, a lawyer, an architect, a scientist. Okay, what else? Soccer player. And? What? Cricket player, football player. Now I'll conclude by singing a song, and you have to sing it with me, because this is my national anthem. His Royal Highness has a farm. Ia, Ia, oh. Ha, go on. Ia, Ia, oh. Ia, Ia, oh. In his farm, he has a cuckoo. Ia, Ia, oh. Do you have to have breakfast? In his farm, he has a cuckoo. Ia, Ia, oh. Red tail, red tail, <laughs> red tail cuckoo has laid an egg. Ia, Ia, oh. One egg, one egg is, uh, uh, is it, is, is it, red tail cuckoo has laid an egg. One egg for me, one egg for you. One egg, one egg for me, one egg for you. Ia, Ia, oh. I forgot the song. <laughs> but in Arabic, Amm Muhammad Andu Ghit, Iya Iya O, Fiha Al Ghit Andu Farfur, Iya Iya O, Rah, 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 his Royal Highness Handu has a farm. Anyway, you have to stand to the challenge of art, singing. If they have a song, you can rewrite it again. If they have a poetry, you can rewrite it again to put our values, our culture, our language inside it. Jazakumullah khair, because the time is up now. Is that right? Can I take a photograph with the children?